Hello everybody, I'm Hedgecraft here today we are taking a look at another best of three series played between two pro players well, one of them is one of my favorites I, I like all pro players, but I, as a term player by heart I do have my favorites now, uh, the action is already starting, so let's introduce the players so, here, in the bottom left playing with the blue Terran pieces, already sending out two of them MSCVs, actually only one as you can see by the mini map, we have none other than special. And in the top right, playing with the red Protoss pieces, we have none other than classic. Now both of the players are great players, don't get me wrong, special right here is going for a proxy barracks but it's only one rex so it would would not surprise me if it was a barracks and in factory and cyclones because on the old patch cyclones were incredible because they were so tanky now i'm sorry i i wish i could cast a replays on the new patch but i can't find the replays it, I simply have nowhere to download them from. I have no idea. If any of you guys have pro replays played on this patch, then please send them, send them to me, or let me know in the comment section below if you have some pro replays, any pro at all. Uh, any pro replays that uh, are on the newest patch, please let me know because I'd love to cast those games. Okay, so we have a Reaper coming out right now. A factory. Hmm. Interesting. A factory at home. I can't seem to make. Anyway, this is weird. Now, specialist packing up and going back home this reaper will be able to uh, wait on those crows for a little longer but you gotta be careful because the reaper only has 60 hp now the reaper, the barracks is going back i have no idea at all i have no idea why this factory is here or why why there's a i don't know looks like a bunker has been built over here probably just to delay the natural for a little longer it will indeed be salvaged right the reaper is back time to kill the probe come on come on there you go the reaper has managed come on let me click on it all right has managed to kill a probe now this bear this uh, factory rather is building a cyclone and on the new patch, I don't know, Cyclones just shoot slower overall, from what I can tell. But they're like, uh, I don't know, way better. Do way more damage. Not sure. I don't, don't mind me playing around with the camera. Anyway, a Cyclone is already out. Now, Cyclones are always good. I, I love Cyclones what I used to. Now I don't know. I mean they're nice. On the new patch they can lock on to anything not only a, not just their units so that's something. Now it, this cyclone will not manage to kill the oracle or do any real damage to it as the shields just regenerate. But there is a widow mine now burrowing deep underground but it's not that deep you can kind of see the tip of it but anyway burrowing over here i don't know why just i guess to catch that uh, first adept that swoops in but the adept will be kept at home for now well never mind right a phoenix is now being produced now there are two oracles out on the map the cyclones do have to be careful but they don't have to be careful because oracles can't really kill them but uh, they, the oracles have to be careful anyway now so it looks like more barracks are being constructed two marines are being trained at time now there is a raven hmm interesting a raven now coming out here 
four special. Now here come the Doracles once again. All right, now the Oracles are taking damage. Damage almost managed to kill one of them. There is an even out on the map. Not sure what that is for. Like whatever. How much base armor does an Oracle have? No, uh, none. I mean, I, I'm sorry. Sometimes I I just can't English. Right now there's a forge and the twilight council coming out, as well as one observer. There's already an observer out, as well as an immortal. I was found the mortals to look extremely badass. Don't know why. What they just do. Anyway. Now there are a few marines as well as one siege thing out. Uh looks like uh special has done the switch around now. And bear this barracks is now researching steam packs. Now a reactor on the on the uh, factory. I'm not sure what that is for, but steam packs as well as combat shields are being researched at the same time. Now there is no third base for special just yet, while classic is taking his third. Now stasis void has been placed. Stasis words are pretty nice, but pointless in a way. I mean, they're not pointless, they're nice for catching ground bites and stuff, but... I don't know, actually... I don't know. I've never been, like, outplayed by a stasis where, you know, like, have my entire army being caught into one of them. But I guess at the lower level, people don't really use stasis words. Now, finally, Special is taking another base. Now, there is an missile threat, so... Classic shouldn't be able to do much damage here. But here come the two armies. Ooh, nice pick up there by Classic. Interference Matrix has been used on the Immortal, so the Immortal will not be able to do any damage at all. The Raven has been um, target fired down. Now the rocks are being destroyed, Revelation being used. Now I'd love to see them. There you go. There are the Widow Mines. So if the so if uh, classic army decides to char to charge forward, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Now, nice pick up there by special, keeping those marines alive for a little bit longer. Now, if classic didn't have blink, he would have been in a lot of trouble there. Because if you blink at the perfect time, then the Widow Mine will activate, but will not do any damage to your Stalkers. Yeah, Revelation has been used on those units, so the Stalkers should be able to see the Widow Mines as well as the Siege Tank. And looks like, for now, this army will be deflected. Or even killed. But there is a Liberator. Now special is going back and classic is moving forward, but still Marina Marauder can do a lot of damage. Especially if steamed. Now those siege units uh, units are exactly what special needs to zone away those um those stalkers. Now stalkers are pretty good, but uh, marauders. There's nothing else I need to say. Marauders. Alright, scan has been used. More pylons are being milled now. A warp prism is out. Not sure what that one is for. Probably to warp me some more reinforcements. Now, classic does have a lot of gateways. Zealous are being picked up inside of the warp prism, so I'm guessing it's for the run by? A drop? Probably a drop. Or maybe a drop and a warp pin. But then why wouldn't he load in two immortals? I don't know. Anyway. Looks like special is now coming up on the fourth or rather the third. I usually take this place as the third. And we have this one or this one as my fourth. Now big drop inside of Classics main base, the old school zoom drop. 
Now here comes the classic army. That. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Logically speaking, uh, those medivacs don't fly so high. So if the um, if the army gets caught inside and gets if a medivac gets killed, then technically speaking, they should be able to survive. Not with a lot of HP, but they should be able to survive. Maybe stand for a couple of seconds. But if the medivac gets destroyed, then they should technically be able to survive. But uh, I guess that would mess up all of the game mechanics. Alright. Now. But. I guess that stalker paid for that. Anyway. Uh, this army of special is still here. But there's still a lot more Marines and Marauders. On the other side of the map. Now that one Marauder got caught inside of the, spa of the stasis ward. And it looks like. Um, this army will remain on this side of the map. Now I'd love to speak uh, to speak sp what? To see special load those uh, uh, Marines and Marauders inside of the medivacs and just fly them over here and snipe their hobos. Disruptors! Disruptor boy is now coming out. Disruptors are pretty good units with the purification nova. They're not the greatest but they are pretty good and they can sure mess you up. If you're not careful, of course. Now, there are quite a few siege things here. Four, to be more precise. Four of them. Five, actually. Let's just take a look at the units damage, shall we? Yep, five siege things and the Liberator. Now, where's the Liberator? On the other side of the map, killing those probes. Four probes have been killed by the Liberator. There is a single stalker over here. Now, a big engagement on the side of the map. Gotta be careful there, no, because the disruptor is there. Now, those siege tanks should probably get sieged up. All right. So zealots are not doing that great of a job. Now, each pick off is a nice pick off. But you've got to start killing those disruptors. Special has to kill the disruptors. Now reinforcements are at Special's uh, main base location. The war prism is being split off from the rest of the army. Oh, it's not. Oh, high. There are high temper inside of that. Thing. Storm drops. Oh boy. Special here is in a lot of trouble. That whole army got absolutely deleted because there's just too much splash damage from Protoss. Now another wave of zealots is being worked in. But in the meantime on the other side of the map, this small group has managed to kill 11 probes and the Nexus. But that doesn't matter if your army gets destroyed. But there's no more energy on the High Templar. No more energy for storms. It looks like there is only one disruptor left. And there is still... There are still those two siege tanks. There is still one high temple inside of the war prism. If the war prism gets sniped, then there is no more way to. I don't know. There are no more ways to just. Uh, yeah, you can't. You can't load the high temple out of the war prism without the war prism, can you now? Now, more and more zealots are being worked in, but Marine and other can deal with zealots pretty good. Pretty well, I mean. Sorry. I, sometimes I can't. I, I, I just can't. Alright? No, there are some high tempo. There are. Oh, that destructor Nova. No, that uh, that high tempo does not have enough uh, enough for storm, but that warp prism providing a lot of value, but by just simply warping in more and more units onto the battlefield. More and more units that um, Classic can just throw at Special face and hope he wins. Now Special trading very very efficiently with his units. Now there is a 4th base or, or rather a 5th base already. Special is on 5 bases. 
while well, classic is only sitting on four and one of them is almost mined out now free free is coming up here for classic special only has two two but uh well, let's take a look at the production now the third attack upgrade for marines is now being researched well for bio in general but i doubt we're gonna see the ghost here at least for now because the high templar inside of the war prism can't be emp'd one of the work got picked off now there is a lot of siege tanks here and siege tanks are great at everything now warp prism speed is being researched here the scan will confirm exactly where that army of uh, classic is but that is a lot of immortals in the meantime on the other side of the map a pretty big group of marine marauder are being um, used to kill a lot more probes atm probes going down but in the meantime on this side of the map there are only the siege tanks remaining but there are a lot of siege tanks and the siege tanks do a lot of damage storm not that great against siege tanks 14 probes uh, 14 scvs uh, going down but also 18 probes and most of classic's army has been shattered 26 probes going down now this drop this drop has killed 28 probes and the counter is still going 33 40 oh that recall is being activated but i just think this army can defeat uh, defeat everything by itself if used properly now stalkers on both sides so uh, i don't know those medivacs can't really escape but they don't really need to escape either 33 um 33 probes have gone down now target fire down the pylon what are you doing i guess he really wants to kill a forge in the meantime though there are a lot of siege things here for special special knowing that there are a lot there were a lot of storms so he just counters that with siege things by uh zoning the high temps are away and there's not a lot left here for classic to defend with. Now, special is behind upgrades wise, but army wise, he is far ahead. Now, storms are being used on everything here, but there are a lot of siege tanks here in the back doing more and more damage. Immortals now being dropped on top of the siege tanks. And I think this will go on for a little longer, but more probes have gone down. Where? How? How do you even do that? Special continuously harassing his opponent, but in the end that medivac will indeed go down. But you gotta keep in mind, Special has been sitting here on 5 bases, while Classic, well, Classic just lost 33 probes, let's take a look. Uh, units, units lost. I mean, kind of the same here. Alright, let's, let's take a look at the APM tab here. Alright, so, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just go back to the production tab right now. So right now, it turns out, Classic is not producing anything. Now, Liberators are coming up here for Special. Both of those players are running low, but Special is now taking a not another base here in the top left-hand corner. Now, in the meantime, Classic is just doing his stuff. He does have two Archons there. There is a single marine being steamed forward for some reason. I guess to delay a bit of mining time. Now there's not a lot of army available here for special. Well, not, not a lot of bio, rather. Alright, so we finally see the transition toward the ghosts. Ghosts, one of the most badass units in StarCraft 2, at least in my opinion. I mean, in my opinion. Uh, 
everything that's there and he's badass. I mean, most of the things anyway. Like, I, I don't think Hellions are badass. But I think everything does. Now, a couple of the depths are trying to harass some of the uh, specials workers. Alright, siege tanks, better siege up there. Or not, or not, never mind. One storm has been used. There are some storms here, but siege tanks have been picked up. One Maybach has been destroyed, and we have two siege tanks, I think. Alright, now. So, Special does have a very scary army, but he still needs to be careful because those storms can do a lot of damage. Right now, does Special have free free? No, he doesn't. Alright, here we go again. Now those ghosts are ready for uh, to do the EMPs, but you can't really EMP the High Templar if they are inside of the War Prism. Now the armor upgrade is coming up here for special. Another Liberator is being produced. I think the Liberators are the correct choice, but I don't know. I'd like to see more Siege Tanks. Well, 6 probes have gone down in total there, and a lot of lost mining time as well. I mean, I'd like to see a couple of Vikings just simply kill that war prism. Just, just destroy the damn thing with Vikings. Okay. EMP has been activated on those High Templar. There are four High Templar left inside of that war prism though. I'd still love to see that uh, transition towards a couple of Vikings. Just, just two Vikings would be, would be all that he needs. Right, where is the War Prism with the High Templar? War Prism? Oh, it's coming in from behind. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And this is gonna hurt a lot. Only if special new. Only if special new right here, there's a word prism. But still, that's a lot of zealots. Storm is being activated right now, but the High Templar has been killed. There is no more splash damage. Siege tanks are doing a phenomenal job at killing everything they see. But those siege tanks aren't doing anything. This, this, this one here, siege tank, is destroying everything. Ghosts have been killed. But, uh, but special, just kiting around, uh, the army of Classic has managed to hold. And it looks like he will decide to go back and make more Marines and Marauders. So let's teach things and liberate it because that's really working for him. Now, special did indeed take another base while Classic is still sitting on just five. And they are mining out really fast. Actually, he's just sitting on three bases. Now, there is a run by over on this side of the map. And it will manage to kill that planetary. Or maybe not. Hold on. Here come the Mahima and Mahalar Ball. But there's a storm. There's a storm. You gotta be very, very, very careful there. Oh, never mind. There's not enough energy on this hot Templar for storms. Ooh, I was scared. Now six probes have gone down to I guess this liberator. Nice time, nice job, nice nicely done by the liberator. Alright, but now I think special should get two to upgrade. Now a dark shrine is coming up. Now I'd love to see more upgrades on the siege tanks because they can make up the a heck of a lot of defense. Now, nice attack here. Oh, the probes. Oh, the probes. Six probes going down. Now, if 
his special manage to focus down that uh, temporary archive and he does that means there is no there are no more high templar here I and mean, there no more high templar production here for at least a while now there are five high templar six never mind out on the field six yeah six high templar out on the field but only six <laughs> oh those mines being cheap all right now so classic is preparing for an attack special doesn't know about this and he is moving forward they have no idea where uh, their opponent's army is at special doesn't know about classics and classic doesn't know about special and it looks like this will turn the first game will turn into a base race now there are storms available here but there is nothing available at home for classic now which one gives him first which one goes back i guess this is uh, much more worthwhile for special he is he has decided to go back but he has managed to kill 25 probes while classic has managed to kill only nine scvs there's not only a, a lot of empire here only the only a few stalkers and this army will have nowhere to go oh big EMP landing on all of those high templars and it looks like there are no more storms what are you doing i think special should just go in there just a move and win and i think that should be the plan here or Never mind, he's just waiting for his opponent. The special will be like, are you, are you done? Are we gonna fight now? But the thing is, Classic can just sit in here and regenerate all of his energy on the High Templar. I think Special is a bit scared that uh, the High Templar have a lot of energy. But they don't. Another big EMP landing over there. Which means that there are no more shields. But a recall, a recall will be activated here. But there is a massive wall of Terran over here. Well, it's not massive, but it's big enough. Alright. And with that, special takes game number one. So, hold on, guys. I've got something more. Well, I've got some more. I'm sorry, I can't English. All right, so I'll see you guys in game All number right, two, guys. And here we are in game number two. Now, without further ado, let us introduce the players. So, in the bottom left, playing with the blue Terran pieces here on Blue Shift Alley, we have none other than Special. And in the top right, playing with the red uh, Protoss pieces. We have his opponent, classic. All right, now uh, both of those players going for a relatively normal opener, I'd say. But then again, I have no idea what this SCV is doing over here. Say what? Why? I mean, I guess the travel time from this side this side of the Reaper must be really important well, I guess a few extra seconds uh, I don't know or I guess it's to make classic thing that special is cheesing and force a reaction out of it seeing the double gas and everything well that's my guess I guess special wants classic to, uh, to think he's cheesing but then he'll go back and play the macro game just like he did in game number one I thought he was cheesing but it looks like classic hmm. nope classic ain't falling for it this time A bunker 
being once again constructed at uh, classics natural just to be like that uh, that what what you call that uh, that nexus for a little longer here and once again the barracks will fly back to the safety of its home while a factory is being constructed here now the reaper is moving in an adept is being kind of boosted out and it might manage to kill the reaper but the reaper can get into the bunker <laughs> oh that's hilarious because in this bunker uh, the cla a special can just uh, soft contain classes that uh, he can just contain him like fully contain but this is not meant to be a containment this, this is just meant to be annoying And now Classic doesn't know that there is not there is there is no no Reaper inside of the bunker. I guess special I mean classic. What what's going on? What am I saying? Anyway, it looks like the bunker will be salvaged for the 75 mineral. Now a command center is being constructed. That one probe might get picked off, I think it will. But we don't mind now. It's gonna be burrowed some where for some reason I guess it's there to stop the Oracle when the Oracle gonna come in it's gonna come in at this angle which means the Widow Mine is gonna be great at stopping it probably that makes sense and here is the Oracle well speak of the devil a Cyclone and the Widow Mine are being produced here at the same time I don't know exactly why but Oh, but Classic is not falling for it. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But special is morphing that command center on the low ground. Okay. On the high ground, rather. Uh, my bad. My bad. Now there are twenty-one SUVs here. I'm sorry if I seem a little bit distracted. Just found out that we actually have chemistry homework too. I have no idea. Uh, don't, uh, don't, don't worry about it. Chemistry homework can't be that hard, can you know? And even if it is, I mean, I, I, nobody said I have to do it right. Like, it, it's not like the teachers gonna like, give us grades for it or anything. Hopefully. Oh, high school life is just full. I mean, it's nice to watch, it's still stressful. Oh, that Widow Mine got sniped. But so did that Oracle. A worthwhile trade that I'd take any day, come to it. Because Widow Mines are so freaking cheap. And the Oracles aren't really that, really that cheap. I mean, Oracle is. So you could produce. Uh, yeah, you could produce two Widow Mines for one Oracle. So I guess I guess if you make two widow eyes to kill an oracle you still win because 50 gas. Still 50 gas. I mean no 100 gas, my bad. Alright now there is a push moving across the map. It, it will be delayed for a little bit longer now. A nice uh, lock on there by special. Damaging that oracle for a little bit. Now two SCVs as well as two probes went down. Now there is a stasis void here. But special Special definitely sees it. Like it's so obvious. I wonder, do stasis swords activate on cloak units? Not sure. Now the widow mines are borrowing. The shield battery is gonna get sniped. There we go. That widow mine uh, did kill the oracle, so no revelation here. And there is the revelation has been activated. Now there is no blink here for classic, but I do think special will indeed manage to hold. I mean classic will indeed manage to hold that one. That's why Immortal getting 5 kills now. Immortals are very strong units. 
now classic is taking a four a third base rather while special is just macroing up making a bunker as well as a missile threat because i think he's expecting a counter attack but that will not be the case and special will have his um, third base shortly Now in the meantime, Classic doesn't really have a lot of units. He is going for an Observer now, as well as 4 extra gateways. 6 extra gateways actually. But then where they There they are. Alright. Now, Special is moving forward, but he does not have steam. Steam packs are just now being researched. Okay. Here comes a drop. Uh, why? why? Why not the Marauder? The Marauder is not that fat. It can still fit and the marauder can't kill any more foes so that marauder is dead I have no idea what's going on well that phoenix there are a few stalkers here so trying to go for the drop is not the greatest idea special will indeed run away but I think those marines can kill those mortals and those sentries. Charge. Charge how many means research. That's interesting. Alright. Now free basis free base economy from Protoss versus free base economy by Terran. I say the Terran does have an advantage just because mules. Just just because Terran has mules. And mules are great. I honestly think that the mules should be buffed. But th that's just me. It, pro it would probably be overpowered, but that's the whole point. Alright, so special. Lead, leave one widow mine here. There is no detection. So if Classic can uh, just 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 move his units over here, he might be able to kill him. To get killed anyway. Alright, that war prism Oh the war prism barely survived. Oh come on. That would have been the greatest pick off ever. Special should have left two widow mines there. But now it looks like special is playing with the widow mine game. And the widow mine game is nice. I love widow mines. To be fair, I think they're they're incredible units. And they have a lot of potential. Nice pick off, the observer got killed. Now specials we don't mind is still here. So if that war prism could just walk over it. Well was a like it did get killed there. Alright, but there's still a lot of Marines in Marauder see and they only have one one. But I mean those stalkers don't really have a lot of um, a lot of upgrades either. The ghosts are here to EMP against those shields and uh, there are a lot of those liberators here now liberators should probably siege up now the widow means I mean the widow mines widow mount widow, widow mines widow means isn't that the same thing pretty sure it is anyway 
Ruthu upgrades are here. The classic is behind upgrade wise and supply wise. But there are a couple of High Templar and High Templar can change the tide of the tide of battle. Now Liberators are being stitched up storm. That was a good storm. High Templar are still alive. But there are ghosts over here. And the ghost can EMP the High Templar. Now, oh my god. There are High Templar inside of the War Prison. What? Alright, alright, alright. Eyes on the engagement. Now, the Special is moving forward, sniping the War Prism. There are no more High Templar out on the field right now. There is one Archon, but the Archon is. Oh, the Archon is dead. Special. Moving forward, he wants to clean this up right now. But there are a lot of stalkers, and sometimes Starcraft 2 is just a number game. And the immortals from the back are dealing a lot of damage. But Medivax, Medivax are doing a lot of healing. And the upgrades, those upgrades are doing the great stuff here. And it looks like for now, if even if Classic might be able to hold this, Special has done an incredible job. Now special even moving forward some more widow mines here. Blink has been used. Now a lot more zeros are being worked in, but the zeros can get absolutely destroyed by those uh, widow mines. Now more and more enforcements are coming in from special liberators. The, li the liberators should probably be used here. But special destroying everything in sight. And with the liberators being moved forward. Now the probes are starting to get killed. The probes are being pulled off the line. That we don't mind. That we don't mind. Oh, that was a big we don't mind hit. Special just kiting that army around. Killing all of the probes. 16, come on. 17 probes going down. There is no... I don't think there's a way. Like, even if those two immortals manage to finish up. There's a high temper in there, but uh, the scan. Now more and more probes are getting killed. Now special does have to get out of there because there are immortals out on the field and the immortals can deal a lot of damage. But they can also be killed rather easily by the liberators. And it looks like... It looks like special does not want to back down. Now that one siege tank has found the 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 the, 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 the expansion, that's what I meant. And it is waiting on it. That that one zealot might be able to kill the siege tank, and it does. But that does not matter. Because right now classic is in a lot of trouble. Now there's a lot of archons. That's four archons. Archons are great. But they need immortals to back them up. Because Archons can deal a lot of damage, but they can get killed by all the other ones. Terran just moving forward, 2-2 two, two upgrades against the uh, 3-1, I guess. I guess that's okay, but still. Marine Mother deals so much damage, it doesn't even matter right now. 17 more probes going down in the meantime. More Marines are moving inside of the main base, even with that. Special takes game number 2. 2 owing classic in this best of 3 series looks like the nexus has been killed over here oh my god that was an intense game so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't please leave a like and subscribe for more starcraft 2 content at least once a week also, don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload. I also have Twitter in the description below, so make sure to follow me there. I'll be, post I'll be posting some interesting stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.